What's going on everybody, Dante here, back with another setup. And I know people probably were like, yo, you got a lot of setups here. Yeah, I do, because I had a whole bunch of stuff that I had at my mom's house in my apartment that I just kind of just like stored for a while until I got everything back. Well, this setup is pretty much laid out for the HP Odom that I bought while back for my birthday. So I treated myself to a laptop for my birthday. So I got this laptop. It's a gaming laptop, of course. But like I said, I always wanted to spice it up with a little extra stuff that I had at my mom's house in, that, in my apartment. So... It's similar to what I had with the Sony Vio. This setup is similar to the laptop setup I had for my Sony Vio, but this time it has an HP own gaming laptop that I have. So if I ever want to just game on my laptop and have a big screen to go, go off of, you know, feed off the big screen like the 40 inch I got with it, like I said, it's just, just in case if I wanted to, it gives, it gives me options. So the first thing is that I do have a 40 inch Samsung TV with this as well. Like I said, when I edit videos on this thing, I like to put that, I like that big 40 inch screen to immerse me into the uh, edit work I'm doing at the time. And it gives me an option if I want to use a bigger screen for like playing, you know, games on my laptop or even the Xbox that allow you to stream your games from your Xbox One where you want, if you don't want to play it down in the basement, like I have my setup down in the basement for my entertainment center, I can use, uh, my laptop and stream the game off there and just play it on my porch right here as far as use my 40 inch screen instead of my whole 46 inch depends like i said it's all what you prefer and what you feel like doing that day now as far as the setup, it's pretty similar to the sony vio setup i got the same stand as far as the amazon stand like i said it's 20 bucks can't beat that it has a 40 inch screen tv just like the other one and but the keyboard that i have with this one is a logitech solar keyboard which is completely rechargeable just by turning the light on it that's a beautiful thing right there. I love that. That's a great thing to have. So, cause a lot of people, I don't like buying batteries constantly. Yeah, using the keyboard, you don't burn it as much as far as the battery power cause you don't use it as much. But having something where you can just recharge by turning some lights on, can't beat that. Now, as far as the audio interface that I have with this one, it is another Scarlet, but it's the Solo. I looked at this one, I seen this one, I said, let me get this one a shot, see what this one's about. Pretty similar to the Scarlet 2i2, but it's only like one input and there's one, guitar set hookup and it's a microphone setup so I, you know i do a lot of voiceover work so well it allows me to just use it as an interface like any other one that i have and i also want to use some headphones to just really get tuned into the work that i'm doing it allows that as well and i also have a gaming pad with it it's uh i forgot the name of it description is below so as far as the uh, mouse pad that i'm using i forgot the name of it but it'll be in the description below and i also have a mx master with this setup as well this allows like i said it's one of the best mouse on the market so i definitely recommend it great mouse you can connect it up to three different devices as far as bluetooth so if you got like a gaming laptop and a portable laptop you want to use when you go on the road with like a macbook air or macbook or any type of you know 13 inch laptop you take on the road and you don't like to use a trackpad you can take this mouse as well and i also have an apple tv hooked up to this one now i believe this is the third generation one because i got it so many years ago so i don't really forgot exactly what model it is but this allows me to use apps like you know hbo go espn hulu netflix youtube of course you know it allows me to use all these apps that i can just get some entertainment on my porch or if i'm having a bit of company and some people want to watch one thing on this tv and something on the other tv back there it gives options to people who don't want to be watching the same thing everybody else is watching. But the, option, the choice is there. But this is pretty much my little setup for I got for my HP Omen. I always say Odom for some reason, but Omen. You get what I'm saying. The gaming laptop that I bought for my birthday. Let's just put it at that. Overall, I like this setup. I, I, one of the main things I like about this setup is the keyboard. I love the fact that I ain't got to buy a battery for it. Now, the battery may go bad over years and have to replace it. But like I said, I don't use it that much. It's not really constantly being used. So... It's going to last me a few good years. So I love the keyboard. It's all black. And they also have one for the Mac too. So if you want to get this keyboard in white, solar power, it's one for the Mac too. I'll bleed that description in below too. Just so if you wanted that option, if you got a MacBook setup or a uh, Mac Pro setup or, you know, it depends on your person. But this is pretty much my other setup that I got on my porch where I can just kind of tune out everybody, go on the porch, close the door, leave me alone. That's what this is. This is another option that I like to have. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hit that like button down below. Also subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Always working on. I'm always in the kitchen working for more videos. Trying to make up the best videos that I can. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next video.